friends. This week I'm going to read to you by the fireplace. It's nice sometimes to find a cozy place to read and you should try it too since you're stuck at home, especially if it's raining or cold. So today we're going to read Fire Engine Number 9. That's the title and the author is Mike Austin. Now I'm going to make a lot of noises during this story because fire stations are a very noisy place. And why do you think that could be? Firefighters respond to emergencies, right? And when there's an emergency, we have to kind of let everybody know it, right? Just like when we have a fire drill at school and the fire alarm goes off, there's a really loud noise so that everybody knows to take action. And the way we take action is we get outside to safety. In the fire station, they need to know to start their procedures that they do as firefighters and as life savers so that they can get to where they need to go, have all the, their tools, have all of their team members, and be ready to respond to the emergency. So here are some of the tools and gear that firemen use. You're gonna learn more about this today with mom and dad by watching a video and kind of discussing what these things are all for. So, here are the names of some of the firefighters' most important tools. Their helmet, smoke alarms, and these are things that we have in our house. And firefighters make special care to make sure that we have them and that they're working. First aid kits, boots, fire extinguishers, walkie-talkies, a bullhorn, flashlight, gloves, a ladder, it's very important, a pike pole, a shovel, an axe, a chainsaw, a nozzle on a hose, and a fire hydrant. So I'm sure you've heard of many of these things, but maybe you're not sure what the fireman uses them for. And hopefully we'll learn more about that in this book and in our video. Now, I've never heard of a pike pole. I wonder if we will see that in this book. Let's keep our eye out. Fire engine number nine. Another cool thing to look for if you see a fire engine in your community is what number it has. Most fire engines, I believe, are assigned a number. the firemen are washing their fire truck, reloading the tools. They have to make sure they are prepared because when an emergency happens, they need to be ready. Nobody knows when an emergency is going to happen, right? And you can't waste precious time grabbing your chainsaw and your first aid kit. You need to have it all prepared. And firemen are really good about that. All right, so starts the noise. Alert, alert, fire, fire, fire! Bark, bark, bark. Even the dog knows to alert everybody. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. What are they doing? Yes, they are going down the fire pole. Maybe you've seen one of these if you've ever visited a fire station. Bring, 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 bring. What do you think those sounds are? I think those are probably the alarms that they have in their fire station. Sure, 
you've seen this happen before, right? You're in your car and you have to pull over so that the fire truck can get through. And you'll hear the siren and then when they get close to you, they might even honk. And it's really important to pull over so that they can get through. Why do you think we do that? Usually, it's important to stop at a traffic light, right, and wait your turn. But we let the firemen through. Why do we do that? Because if they're responding to an emergency, every little bit of time that helps them get there faster really counts. And by making a pathway and moving your car, that helps a lot to help them go faster. Honk, honk, honk. Here is the fire. Look at That's where it started. What do you think this place is? It says Luigi's. What kind of a place is this? Did you say a restaurant? I think that that does look like the front of a restaurant. Hurry! Hurry! Let's see what they're doing. They are turning on the water, connecting hoses to the fire hydrant running with a ladder. They already have their gear on, their hats. They do that while they're driving or even while they're running to the fire to the fire engine. Some of them are um, manipulating important controls over here, probably for the water and for the temperature. They're working as a team. Pull! What is he pulling? What tool? Yes, the hose. Do you remember what the front of the hose was called? Where the water comes out? It started with n, n. Nozzle. wearing there? I don't think that was on our first page. This is an oxygen tank. And when the fireman is in the smoky building, the oxygen tank will help give him fresh air to breathe. Smash! Oh, this is pretty cool. What is he using to smash open that window? you see? Yes, that was his axe. So firemen really do use an axe. Helps them to smash open something, an opening, like a window or a door, because it usually gets very hot. They can't use the doorknob. When they don't have any time to waste trying to find a key, they have to smash right in. think they're crawling down low. Do you see what's up high? All of the dangerous smoke kind of goes to the top. So crawling down low helps them to stay near some of that cleaner air. Careful, careful. What are they doing? Yes, they're saving a baby. 
They're doing their best to be very careful. Look. Looks like everybody's okay. The firemen and firewomen saved the day. Let's see if our prediction was right that it was a restaurant. Hooray, hooray. It's an all new food truck. It says all new mobile lunch buffet, Luigi's on wheels. Thank you, fire engine number nine. We're back. And how cool is that? Another community helper, a restaurant owner, was helped by the firemen, a community helper. And this is showing you how if you were ever in a fire, you would need to get low too. That's the safest way to be is low. And try and find an exit, find the way out. tools again. The end. Alright friends, I hope you have a great week dancing to the fire truck song. It's one of my favorites. So play it lots of times and maybe we can even dance to it on Thursday. Have a good day.